So guys, let's continue with problem number five, which is very common, or sorry, very similar with that of problem number four. Then, if you, let me go back. We were in this point right here, if you don't remember, this pressure and this temperature. And they are telling me that from this point, we want to lower the pressure to this pressure right here. And we're going to suppose that it is done in the same temperature. So let's do it. We lower this pressure here to this pressure here. Go directly to this pressure. This is the line. And then you'll have here. Okay, so one very tricky question or process is that you're going to have an isentalpic process. What does that mean? Is that if I wanted to calculate the enthalpy in my initial state, let's say initial state, this is about 540 kilojoules per kilogram. And I find out that I, this is of course at 60 kilopascals. And this one will be about 200 kilopascals. I find out, calculate here, and I get the same value. And you will be asking how come I will be having the same enthalpy if I have this change on pressure, which is huge. And what I wanted to tell you guys is the diagram is correct, the process you did is correct, which is decreasing the pressure. The only thing that you probably didn't know is that enthalpy is not a function of pressure. Actually, you can see how enthalpy goes to the right very fast, and the only property that goes that fast to the right is temperature. So enthalpy is a function of temperature, but you can see that pressure as pressure increases, and you will see that as pressure increases, you will have the same value of enthalpy. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.